Welcome to the famous poker series, Goliath, here at Planet Hollywood, and this is a famous spotlight on Gavin Smith. All right, Gavin. Uh, I thought that it was actually done, I thought it was for his I thought it was the poker series. We couldn't afford him, so we got you. That's funny, though. I, th- I actually thought that for, like, quite a while, when you guys were promoting the series, that it was the series. I'm like, what the heck? Why is this guy so popular? Well, you're pretty popular, too. Yep. You've won... <laughs> You've won some WPT awards, right? Some awards? Yeah. He won a tournament. He won a tournament. It's not an award. Well, I said awards, uh, you said tournament. Actually, I did win an award. I won player of the year. That's correct. That was an award. See? My bad. <laughs> Continue on. You are the 2010 World Series of Poker. You won the 2500 Mixed Hold'em event, yes? That's two games. Yes, that, I did win that. You played two different games. I did. That was good. I did. You I have... Start limit so actually, I'm good at limit hold'em. You're good at limit hold'em? Yeah, I'm good at limit hold'em. What type of limits did you start off playing? Uh, 10, 20. Well, I, I mean, I started lower than that, but then I got to 10, 20 pretty fast. I played 10, 20, 15, 30, 20, 40, 40, 80, 80, 160. Do you have a bread and I'll butter play game them that all. you prefer to play the most in that I area? don't like to play Limit Hold'em at all. It's, <laughs> it's, it's an absolutely annoying game to play, and it's horrible. So, so your $6.2 million that you've won? Yeah, it was $5 million. It says, million. says 5.3, but you guys have your facts wrong. I had it right. Yeah, you got it right. See? Beautiful Bonus points. Beautiful That's right. unbelievable. So is that all limit, or what games are those that you did the best on? Almost no, no, almost no limit. Uh, well, some limit, I guess. I don't know. I've won, I've won some limit holding tournaments. I won a limit holding tournament in Foxwoods, and I've won some no limit holding tournaments, and I've won some other tournaments, and I don't know. It's been a long time. Okay, well, how'd you get involved in a poker? I just stumbled on it, really. Uh... I was actually, to be honest with you, I, my friends called me up one time. I was back in my my hometown of Guelph, Ontario, and uh, there was a charity casino that was coming to my hometown. And uh, I, I worked on golf courses, and I played a lot of poker. So they said, let's go to this casino. So we go to this casino, and we're playing blackjack. And they said, hey, they got a Texas Hold'em game there. You play poker. Why don't you try it? And I said, okay, I'll try it. Why not? I, and I, I sat down. I literally didn't even know the rules to Texas Hold'em. I had no idea. And I sat down, and uh, it was a 5-10 uh, limit hold'em game. Red shit. And I won and thought, this is cool shit. And uh, <laughs> excuse my language. but I, So I thought it was cool as hell. And so I, so I went. Um, Branding. Bam. All right. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, it was awesome, and I won my first session, so then I thought, this is cool, so now I'm going to start going over, and I got really, really fortunate, and uh, um, two of the best players in the game uh, became friends with me, and I had no clue whatsoever, and they taught me how to play, and then um, we just ran from there. Nice. Well, what advice do you have for poker players nowadays? Don't drink at the table. I don't play poker for a living. Keep your day job. I think, uh, I think, I think it's, uh, poker's an extremely hard way to make a living, and, uh, I, I don't recommend anyone doing it. I think everyone should keep a day job and, and keep poker as a hobby instead of as an occupation. Awesome. Well, what are you up to nowadays? I'm a dad. Really? Yeah, that's, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty much what I do nowadays. I, uh, I try to look out for my boys. I got two, I got a three-year-old and a four-year-old, and, uh. I mean, I run a game every now and again up in Alaska and um, come down and play some tournaments here and there, and that's about it. Nice. Well, that's awesome. Well, Chris Golick, I know you want to talk some hockey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've been talking poker all week, so we're going to break this up a little bit. Neither do you. Where are you from? All right, so anyway... <laughs> So hockey, I mean, you've told me, we've met in the past, you told me some stories about your hockey days out here. Talk to me. Tell me uh, Tell me about your hockey days. Out here? Out here. When I moved out here, I played roller hockey, and I didn't know how to roller skate. And, and it was completely different from ice skating. So I, I went out there and I played, and I was the worst skater on my team. What are you doing that for? She can't hear you on the microphone. Oh, my bad. Can you hear me now? 
How you doing? <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> anyways, I was the worst skater in the, on the team, and uh, but I knew, but I I know hockey. I played for thirty years. I know where I had to be, and I knew how to get there. And I have good hands, so I scored every game. And it was funny because like if we ever went to a shootout, I was always our first shooter. So I'd, I'd waddle up, to, I'd get there, and I'd, I'd waddle, up, I'd waddle up, and then I'd score, and that's how it went down. And yeah, I was not a good, I wasn't a good skater. Yeah, sometimes being in the right position is about the only thing that matters. And going around whacking people in the legs a couple times, you know, earn your two minutes. You know how that yeah, goes. I'm, violent. I'm very violent. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we'll wrap up in a second here. Are you related to Bob Golick? I do have a Bob Golick, actually. He's my uncle. Is, is that probably Bob not. Bob? Probably not. Probably not the same one you think. guy, Bob and Bob? He's a bowler. Oh, wow. Do you bowl? I've bowled, but I mean, I, if, I, if I was a bowler, I'd never tell people I was a bowler. That just means you don't get any hot girls. <laughs> I've bowled my whole life, and my wife is hot, by the way. And she's also pregnant. We we have a kid coming in a couple months, so my wife is hot and pregnant. So, and I'm a bowler. Congratulations. See, I proved him wrong, guys. No, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> and probably she got with you before she knew you were a bowler. That's probably accurate. It's really, it's really not right. How could this possibly go any worse? All right, prop bets, poker players, prop bets. You guys do a lot of crazy things. Give me a couple crazy prop bet stories. Uh, well, I, I, sorry. I lost the last longer bet with Joe Seabock, so I have his initials tattooed on my back. But the thing, the thing is about that, which is kind of cool, is my mother's name is Joan Smith. <laughs> so it's, uh, do, do I really have Joe Seabock's initials on my back? No, I don't think I do. I have my mother's initials on my back, which is kind of cool. I think you need to prove it. No, the face is bet. I won that bet. And Joe Seabock and uh, and uh, Jeff Madsen had to get my were supposed to get my face tattooed on their bodies. But I uh, I was I was kind of broke at the time, so I accepted twenty thousand cash instead of getting them to do it. Uh, so yeah, that happened. Um, I made a bet with Eric Lindgren. It was, it was ridiculous. He, I bet him that he couldn't play four rounds of golf in one day at Bears Best Golf Course, walking and carrying his clubs from the tips, playing full rules of golf, and break 100 every round. And uh, he did it. And the next day, he looked like a heroin addict. He lost 14, he lost 14 pounds. He woke up in the middle of the night cramping. He couldn't drink enough liquid to, 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 to handle this. It, it, and he won, he won like a lot of money. I, I don't, I mean, Eric's my friend, so I don't want him to say what amount of money. It was a lot of money. And he says he'd never do it again for that amount of money. And so that, that was a weird bet. That was a weird bet. Oh, and the part of that bet was that we made that bet at dinner when we were going to the uh, comedy stop at the Trop. And part of the bet was he had to step and drink with me for the entire night. You drink? Yeah. But part of the bet was he had to step and drink with me the entire night. So he stayed up and we drank till like 2 a.m. He went home. He was afraid he wouldn't be able to wake up in time because he started at 5.45. So he didn't sleep any. So he stayed up drunk, didn't sleep, went and played four rounds of golf in 112 degrees. And uh, he won the bet. He won a lot of money. And as we're walking down the 16th hole, our agent Brian Balsba is there. And he's like... What's your name? Where are you from? <laughs> he's so worried that he's and Eric's like lying down for every shot and stuff. Like Eric and Brian's like, what's going on? And Eric actually gave me a deal. Um, I I was scheduled to lose about a hundred thousand dollars, and Eric couldn't lose the bet. He had got there and he let me off for sixty thousand. So that sucked. <laughs> So again, I mean, poker players, they, uh, got their crazy bets, they got their crazy habits, and I think, uh, yes, hard way to make an easy living. That's a lot of 
fun though too, isn't it? Sometimes. I mean, I, sometimes it's fun, but just always remember, I am Canadian. A. Huh? I am Canadian. A. I'm not saying A. You guys say that. <laughs> I know you're freaking little mouse that you lead along. I mean, I I, I do my own. <laughs> Well, this has probably been the most interesting famous spotlight we're going to have all summer. I'll go and hang my hat on that right now. No, it's not famous. It's, <laughs> it's famous and the other gentleman that he mentioned. This is the series, although we're not paying him. <laughs> That's the best part of it. All right, guys, to see other videos that are equally, eh, maybe almost as equally entertaining as these are, give us a follow on Twitter at ph underscore poker. Search for us on Facebook at Planet Hollywood Poker. Gavin, that was a lot of damn fun, man. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> hang on a sec. Cut. You don't have a lot of opportunities. You got to go for it. Yeah, good job, Gavin. You got to go for it.